All right, you guys, so to check out how to make this Y2K Chrome text here in Photoshop, I'm gonna go with this artboard size. And for the font, I'm gonna go with Carol Gothic. I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can download it. But as you can see, this one is customized. All right, so let's go and double click on the text layer. And let's go and activate the bevel and emboss. Let's increase the depth all the way to a thousand. And the size, I'm gonna go with 46. Softness, I'm gonna increase it to five. And let's go to the highlight mode. I'm gonna decrease it to 30. And the shadow, I'm gonna go with 60. And I'm gonna select this one. Now here, I actually customized it manually. So if you wanna customize it further, you can click on the thumbnail. And here you can, you know, add or customize these anchor points. I'm going to press on delete, for example, and it's going to delete some of these. And I'm going to readjust it a little bit. So it's going to look like how I did it before. Click OK. I'm also going to set up the angle. Make sure to uncheck use global light. And for the angle, I'm going to go with minus 78. And the altitude is going to be 37. I'm also going to activate the inner shadow. Make sure that you're on multiply black. I'm going to decrease the opacity to 16. Distance is going to be zero and the size, I'm going to decrease it to 30. Let's click OK and let's put this text layer into a folder, create a new folder and drag and drop the text into the folder. You also can collapse it. Now let's go to adjustments, select the curves and press and hold alt and click in between the curve and folder layer until you're going to see this new icon with the arrow pointing downwards. Click on it and now let's go to the curve and customize it. And I'm going to add another anchor point here, drag it down. And this way you can create some really nice chrome effect. And I'm going to add another anchor point, bring it up and add another one and bring it down. So it should be something like this. Let's go back to the adjustments, select the gradient map, press and hold alt, click in between the layer with the gradient map and level. Let's click on the gradient. And here I'm going to make the white black or dark gray. Click OK. I'm going to add another handle here. This is going to be white or some really light gray. Click OK. And in the opposite direction here, I'm going to add a bluish nuance. And you also can customize the handles if you want to get some different results. I think I like this one. Click OK. And now we're going to make some glow effect. Press and hold shift. Let's select all these three layers. Press Ctrl J to duplicate them. Let's right click on these layers. Convert a smart object. And we're going to go to the filter, blur, and select Gaussian blur. And here I'm going to go with 70, click OK. Change up the blend mode to screen. I'm also going to duplicate this, press Ctrl J. And I'm going to double click on the Gaussian blur and decrease it. Click OK. And I'm going to select both, decrease the opacity, and make it nice and glowy. Now, but at least we're going to make some sparkles. So let's create a new layer. Let's go and select the brush tool. Make sure that you're on the white. Let's go and click somewhere here. Press Ctrl T. Press and hold Alt and just stretch it and make it really narrow. So it's going to look like that. Press Ctrl J to duplicate. Press Ctrl T. Press and hold Shift. Rotate at 90 degree angles. I'm also going to make it more narrow. Press and hold Alt. Now I'm also going to repeat this step. Press Ctrl J. Now press Ctrl T. And I'm going to bring it in and make, make the sparkle a little bit more wider and half the size. I'm going to select the longer one. Press Ctrl J. Ctrl T. Press and hold Alt. Bring it in. Make it more wider. Now I'm going to create a new layer. Select the brush. Scale it down. And click somewhere in the center. Press Ctrl T. Arrange it or scale it until you're going to have a really nice sparkle. Now I'm going to select all the layers with the lines, right click, merge layers. And now all you need to do is just position them, press Ctrl T, you can scale it, press and hold Shift to rotate and arrange it. Press and hold Alt, duplicate, and so on and so forth. I filled up the whole composition with sparkles. Click on the top layer and we're going to go and add a solid. Make sure it's on black, click OK. Let's go to filter, noise, add noise. Convert a smart object, uncheck monochrome, I'm going to go with 16, click OK and change up the blend mode to screen. And now we got some noise. And this is how I make this vintage chrome text effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.